you know, um, just to start off, just so sad to hear about the loss of one of our former players, uh, Josh Brown. You know, and our hearts and our prayers go out to him and his family and his friends. But anytime you lose a uh, someone that was meant so much to this program and his teammates that were, you know, Lindsey was just talking about him because Lindsey had a chance to play with him. But uh, you hate to see that happen, especially at such a young age. But, um, you know, we got a big game coming up this week, a very important game for us. And you look at the way we uh, played on Saturday, when we talked about playing physical, we played physical, we talked about playing fast, we played fast, and we played smart. And this team that we're playing this week is big, they're physical, and they're athletic. But we just need to match the intensity that we play with on Saturday and come out. And we got to start good early, and that's what we were able to do. We were able to get off to a good start. Our guys started fast, and, and we just played like that from start to finish. You know, made some big plays, defense, go out there in the beginning, get a stop, get the ball back for our offense. You know, Jordan was able to make some really good throws. And then uh, we had some guys at Cronkite. We finally got our offensive line going where we could move the line of scrimmage. And whenever you're able to move the line of scrimmage, you're able to run with the football, which we were able to do. You know, he had a big day. Even Sands, we were so happy to see him bounce back and play the way he played. But, you know, Bryce Miller had the two big catches. And then on defense, we came up with sacks. We came up with tackle for losses. But we still can improve. We still got to get better. This week is a chance for us to go out so we can just continue to play better. And each game, is, each, each and every week, it's, it's a one-game series. And that's the way we have to look at it, where we just – it's all about BYU right now and just getting ready to play them. How important is it for this team to, to continue that? You had a good, really good game in South Carolina State, and it dropped off. You haven't been able to do anything. But how important is it to come up against a good team and continue that? Well, consistency is so critical, but also confidence. And, and you, you get to win, you play with a lot of good confidence. You had some confidence going in that. So now we're coming back home. And it's what we talked about. SMU, we didn't play good at home. Even you know, even the first game, we just were against Wisconsin, we didn't look very good. So we need to be cons uh, consistent, put it all together, and play with some confidence and, and match last week's performance. What, will, what does BYU look like offensively? They try to run pro style, they spread, a little everything? No, BYU is, is a spread team. You know, they lost their quarterback, who's a really good player. And then they're going to, uh, you know, the backup had a chance to come in against Toledo late. But they're, they're not going to change who they are. They have really outstanding receivers. You look at 15 is a really good player, 13 is a good player, 21. The tight end is big and physical, the offensive line. So I don't think they're going to change much of who they are because they're a spread team. And once you have made a commitment to being a spread team, and it's what they've been, and I, I don't think that's going to change. <clears throat> Well, Boyles have been coming on, and uh, he, he's one of those guys that he can make plays because even if he gets beat on a route when he's playing coverage, he's so athletic that he can make up for it. And then he's, he has enough where he can go and hit guys and, and, and get really good tackler. When we rush the passer, he can go sack the quarterback. But that's what he's a very versatile. Just, he's kind of a hybrid player where you can put it, play him on a line of scrimmage, where he can play on the line of scrimmage and go rush, and then you can move him back at linebacker. So in our nickel package, he plays backer for us, and then in our base package, he's on the line of scrimmage. But it was just good to see him have the game that he had. Tom has, um, since you've been here, how has Nate Shields football as a as a blocker? It looks like he had a really good game blocking the other day. You know, the thing I like about Mitch, he he is so unselfish, and you look at him on Saturday, he didn't have no catches. And he had, I think he graded out like at 90%, had three or four knockdowns mm -hmm. and, and just blocking. You know, I think he had the one chance to catch a ball and they, it looked like they pulled him down. With, remember when we was throwing out, cut to their sideline and there was a, a lot of contact. He ended up on the ground, guy ended up on top of him. But uh, just to see him just come out and, and play as physically he's played and just had that attitude about him, it was really great. It was great for our team to see that because you talk about one of your best players and he had no catches. But he, was a, but he did go out and block and play very hard. And it's hard for some guys because they, you know, they want the ball in their hands and never did say anything about it. But it's not only has he developed as a really good player, as a blocker, but also just his whole attitude. Clark, what's the health status of your quarterback play? Well, uh, Jordan is back and he played well. Blake is uh, still nursing his injury. And, and then we uh, uh, Rigel's our third guy right now, and he, he's uh, 
you know, we traveled with Rigel and we tra traveled with uh, with Jordan. <clears throat> Right, if Blake can't go against BYU, it will be right. Has Mitch gotten better as a blocker in your time here? Is that something you really improved on? Oh yeah, see, yeah, he's he's improved tremendously on blocking, and, and but but it, you know the thing about him, he has improved his game in every area, but blocking he really has because he can catch the ball. He's a skill, he's a skill guy. But when you talk about a guy going out and blocking and making a commitment to it, uh, that's what he's been able to do. Well, just to see us run the football was, was really good. We haven't been able to run the ball uh, very good in the last, uh, you know, three or four games. So now to see Crunk go for 140 yards was, was really big for us. And, and even, you know, Sands getting the numbers he got. But he, even with Crunk, I, he probably left some yards out on the field too, and he was tell you that, but he probably could have gotten more. But just to see him bounce back and, and, and have the attitude he had and the way he just – you know, his first carry, he just you know ran through the hole, and and it was really aggressive. Where you just knew that he was going to have a good day that day. What do you think of the offensive line on Saturday? It looked like they only got flattered one time. Well, we uh, yeah, we did. But the thing about it, we were physical on the offensive line, and the guys played hard, and they were very aggressive. <clears throat> what would be why you show you defensively? They run a four-man front. Yeah, they mix it up on defense. They come with some some uh, zone pressure, really big inside. They have a nose guard who's a really great player. Then they, even his backups a good, really good player. And the two defensive ends are a really solid players. Uh, the secondary is uh, guys that you know have played a lot of football. So you know, the thing we're gonna have to be able to do is we're gonna have to match what we did. We're gonna have to be able to move the football. And the only way we can move the ball, we're gonna have to. Uh, be able to run it because I think our pass game opened up on Saturday because of the way we were able to uh, run the football. Coach, what kind of thinking back to the spark before? What kind of spark has KJ brought? Not just as a not just as a player, but as a person he just brought to this team. Well, KJ, he's a he's a very confident young man, and he's and he shows it, and he's always you know what he's done since he's been here. You know, guys, just his whole attitude and and the, the way he comes in, the passion that he has. You know, guys see that and they they can feel it. And so when you have a guy out there like KJ and he's you know always telling guys, let's go, let's go, and and uh, other guys kind of the DBs, especially the defensive backs, they they see how he is, and it just makes them play a little harder.